course of you. The last time you met United after this stadium, your side just chose to take their first half chances, but they did this time. And it was a quite a revenge performance, so how would you assess that display today? Um, yeah, very, very good performance um, overall. Uh, I don't think it's that often that any team win 4-0 in Premier League and definitely not against um, Man United. Um, um, yeah, I just get, I don't say surprised, but um, they keep reassuring me how, how good these group of players are together uh, and that we can make it difficult for, for every team in, in the Premier League. And, and it's just another performance and result that reinforce the message I can use to the players and they use it to themselves. Um, I think we are very good in the pressure. I think we're very good in the aggressive high pressure. Um, two goals came from that. Um, I think we are incredible good in the low block, um, defending well. Uh, I think we're really good on set pieces. Um, so uh, it, this was the best feeling is that when you play against these top six clubs um, and you win, that's crazy. But when you win fully deserved, that that's even more impressive. I don't think it was a four 0 win. Um, but but I think it was a clear deserved win. You said to us that you weren't surprised by your own team. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised by how poor Manchester United were? I, I like to only speak about my team, and I hope that you guys give us a lot of credit because I think the easiest thing is to say that ah, it's just Man United and it's just this and that. Um, I think we deserve huge amount of credit. It's not the first time that we put a good performance out in the Premier League. Um, so there must be something we do right um, overall. Um, yeah. <laughs> is this your greatest stage club so far, or is it kind of almost not a routine win? I, I, if you start getting routine to beat Man United 4-0, then uh, <laughs> we're doing something unbelievable. Um, this is definitely one of them. Um, definitely one of them. Every single time you can... Either have a, a top performance and a win is good, uh, but against the top six side and a club of, of uh, Man United's um, size is is, uh, is remarkable. So it's up there with, yeah, with, with yeah, it's up there with, with top top performances. So obviously you, you had a clear plan. You outran them. You outran them. You say that the low block was really good, but you, you must in executing that so perfectly. You must also think they were vulnerable from what you saw last week. <coughs> um, I, I, the, the guy, you guys that follow us quite a lot know that I like to be even more dominating on the ball and, and have it more, but also know where we are uh, in the food chain. Uh, I think in some uh, some games we need to be a little bit pragmatic, which we also showed last year. Um, so uh, ongoing theme is that we try to press high, as you said, running a lot and very good in the low block. We also did that, but we of course on. The part of the game plan um, was that we went long. Um, so every goal kick, every time back to David, went long because we knew that we will be most likely stronger there um, and better there. So that's part of, of, of that game plan um, uh, today, definitely. And I agree, we watched Brighton. They were very successful. I think Brighton is a very good possession team and they went long every single time. Um, so. And we thought, and the next thing, I think it also fits with some of the strengths we have in Ivan and Brian. Um, good question. Um, I think it hopefully reinforces um, uh, that we can end as high as possible. Uh, and I, I, we played two games. Um, this is a long, long season. This is a relentless league. It can it can turn so quickly. Um, but if we can keep that aim to end as high as possible and uh, crazy focus on the next game, um, th then hopefully we can achieve something big. But uh, yeah. On to the next one. Um, I, I, I believe it fitted well. I know that when we do that, I know we are very difficult to break down. And we, I looked at the game against Brighton. I think actually, yeah, the, I know they lost, but I think uh, United did well in spells. And I think their front five in Eriksen, Fernandes, uh, Rashford, Sancho and Ronaldo is up there among the, the best front five in, in this league. So I so, so knew that we need to defend well. Uh, we want to get something out of it. Um, and I also know that that, that, that shape suits us well for the high pressure. Um, so um, that, that was why. Alex, I don't know United's um, front 
players, it must have been great satisfaction what happened with the fourth goal. So if United had scored a goal like that on the break from their own box, then they'd be replaying it for years. Yeah, I think that was a textbook goal. Um, I'd love to say we train it on training pitch, but you can't train that. You need uh, need good players that can uh, execute it. Um, I think Matthias Jensen did. By the way, he played a top game. Um, but that action in the in his own box, cool, composed, just getting out, looking, knowing Ivan is gone. Unbelievable pass with his left foot, his weaker foot. Um, Ivan running in behind, and Brian is sprinting. And Ivan on on the bounce, you know, when it drops down, he just a perfect weighted pass with his left foot, um, and then Brian running into it and um, a top finish. That was a yeah, what a goal! Yeah, we will try to we, we try to do it every game. Uh, really want to to do that. So that's something we've done uh, the whole uh, also last year. So that that's a um, that's a big thing uh, for us to keep uh, keep doing that. Um, and today was success. Very pleased, Josh. We, we, we know that Josh was an important player for us and we hope that he can be an important player for us. Last year we knew it would probably be in the end of the season, but struggled to get back into it. Now he's getting back to it. I still think there is more to come from him. Um, he was he was tired after after 60 minutes. Maybe he could have gone a little bit more, so he still needs to go up to, to 90 and play consistent. But of course it's fantastic to, to score two goals. I think the last week goals most likely was a, a little bit better than today. I think a little bit help. For, 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 um, but um, but um, important player for us. We're going to do a huddle for the Mondays in a minute. Does anyone want anything for uh, for now? Yeah. Go on. Thomas, what did you make of the reception that Christian Eriksen got from, uh, from the fans? It, it, was that before I went out or when was that? I didn't see that. So. Yeah, he was getting booed pretty much every time he got Okay, so that's what you mean. Yeah. So Okay, so I didn't know when he was announced. Um, to be fair, I didn't... Um, noticed that much. I uh, heard the song as uh, uh, song in the end. Um, I understand fans um, how they can react. Um, personally, I think we as a club should show class, respect, integrity throughout every action that we do. That's what I try to do every single day. Um, and for me. If I should choose, and I think we need to remember, uh, it was not every single fan who did it. I don't know how many. Um, uh, we need to remember that he... I, I think it doesn't have to be Christian. It could be, now I know, but Neil Mopay coming back, Oli Watkins, any any player coming back, so not, nothing special about Christian. I think we should, the first time they come back, applaud them when they, um, when they say their name. Um... And then, of course, there is the banter where you can sing a little bit, but, but boo of a player, I think that's, that's not class. That's not, that's not me. Um, if players want, uh, fans want to do that, I would not say it's fine, but I will never do it. I've got a few questions for now. So, Can't, yep. um, obviously, first up, congratulations, Thomas. <coughs> I just wanted to ask you about one specific moment. I noticed that um, when Matar Jensen got that second goal, you kind of turned around and, and looked at the crowd. What was going kind of going through your, your, your head in that moment? It looked like you were just... Didn't quite, didn't quite know what to believe what was going on. I think, um, yeah, maybe. I can't remember. Uh, what, 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 uh, a lot of it happened, yeah. Uh, I think the more the fourth goal, I was more a little bit, wow, that was crazy. 4-0 and uh, what a goal. Um, the two was more a big part of the game plan. We set the press up like that. So I'm very pleased that we succeeded to, at, at that extent, to score a goal. Obviously, it was a topic that came up a lot in the press conference yesterday about Christian Eriksen, etc., etc. Are you glad that you've kind of like proven to the rest of the world now that Brentford are a great team, even without him? Um, I think there's no doubt Christian is a top player, and um, I think everyone would be happy if he was here. He's not here uh, now. Um, he's playing for Man United. Uh, but as you said, I don't know if you've proven it only in this game. It's, it's, it's such a standout, of course, because he played for the other team. We won 4 4 4, four nil, but you. Uh, 
Um, I'm just happy that we showed again that we are a good team, as you said. Um, and I said that last year, everyone said that it was only because of Eriksen came to the club. He did a top job for us. We helped him, he helped us, uh, but we are more than just one player. In the second half, was the plan to try and be a bit more compact, or did you feel like you could have kept on going and scored? Um, we wanted to press higher still um, and we wanted to keep going and wanted to go score the five if possible but I think it's, it's a little bit nature of the game that you defend a little bit um, so I wanted to be a little bit more aggressive but yeah and then finally I just wondered what did you kind of say to the players in the dressing room after the game what must have been a very special moment just say very proud uh, pleased. Um, what what a performance. Uh, they need to enjoy the moment uh, for 24 hours, as we do. Uh, but definitely do it these 24 hours. Uh, when you beat Man United 4-0, they need to be proud and enjoy the moment. Um, and then they said the uh, classic uh, two days off uh, thing. And I said, no, of course not. We, we need to have a rel- relentless drive and uh, we want to achieve something special. Then, then of course, we need to come in uh, Monday. But... Uh, they show that relentless drive every day, every day, um, and they'll show that again on Monday. How, how do you plan on celebrating? Good glass of red wine. Well deserved. Thank you. Right, we'll take uh, Monday's just outside. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.